Lake Superior, literally the middle of winter, and we're out here actually on a harbor uh, looking for trout, well, actually trout, salmon, anything that'll bite, but it's actually a beautiful day for this time of the year. We're supposed to see above freezing, very little wind, so it's gonna be enjoyable. We may have to move around, pattern these fish a little bit. We got, we've got sets and we're jigging as well, so we've actually got uh, jaw jackers, a few tip-ups, we're using minnows, we're using some spawn, we're gonna try a little bit of everything, try and pattern the fish. Hopefully we don't have to move to another spot because that'll mean we're actually catching them here. Here today with the Tsunami Twins, I'm gonna have to explain that a little bit sometime. We're, we're gonna have fun and I think we're gonna catch some fish. I've got a, uh, a Castmaster spoon here, actually tipped with a little shiner minnow, or about half of a shiner minnow. Generally for trout, uh, something like that. Spoons are kind of a go-to. Uh, blade baits, like a vibrato, there's a variety of those, but generally the real flashy stuff is kind of the way to go. Obviously you can use jig and bait, there's a lot of different things you can try. But that flash is definitely, definitely kind of the deal that you want to start with. Then as far as jigging cadence, that's where the electronics really come in. I actually like to go in the, uh, the sonar mode and the split screen with the zoom on one side so you can actually, to a certain extent, watch your jigging cadence and see how the fish react. It's interesting, I just, uh, I just had a fish it here a little while ago and, and part of what you do if they don't hit it right away, obviously you hope they just hit it right away, but you try different jigging cadences. I generally am fairly aggressive. I'll do uh, two to three foot lifts to start with. But if you've got a fish on the screen, especially on the zoom side, what you do is you just keep trying to make that fish do something or understand how he's reacting. You try different things. If he gets a little more aggressive, you do a little bit more of that. What I found when I finally got the fish to hit this last time, I had them working up pretty high. I actually ended up dropping down below them. That seemed to get them pretty excited. And then when I went back above them again, very aggressively is when I got the strike. But essentially what you do is just watch the fish on the electronics, try and see what's getting the most excited and, and do a little more of it. Just try and pattern during the course of a day, the jigging cadence that seems to be the most effective. Well, I'm gonna get back to jigging. Yeah, <laughs> might be a good idea. Or you could just watch mine. Mark something up high might not have been a fish, it could have been a bartlet. Mark one for a second there. I don't know. I guess it's your call if you think we should move. Oh, on on moving, yeah, he's been getting kind of nervous. We had uh <laughs> A long fight, fish get away, and then one other fish got away, but nothing for a little while, and you've been pacing around. Yeah. And that, actually, very seriously, that's the hard part about decisions like this. We know there was a few fish here, and, and it's getting to the point now, if we do move, we, you know, we're committing to uh, pretty much the day. But we have more options, you're we saying, do. in the place. That There's a good chance we could catch a white fish, or catch a splake, or catch a number of things, whereas just in here, Green Lake. we're pretty one-dimensional in here. Well, I know the other uh, tsunami twin. It seems like his vote is to go. Dylan, Dylan's always ready to move. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Well, that's all right. He's young. He can move all this stuff. Pack her up, then. Go ahead, hurry up. Come on. I'll be along behind you. Well, the official call has been made to make a move. So we got to get going. Oh, 
Finnegan. Finnegan. This is exciting. The new spot actually didn't take that long. Get prepared here. And Dylan, look at him go drilling holes. Come on, get with it. Get with it, man. We're gonna get him out here quick and we're gonna catch some fish. I would like to introduce to you Dylan Robinson, one of the greatest anglers you'll ever meet. Thanks, buddy. Well, that would have been a hell of a shot if you would have ghosted the snowmobile, yeah, grabbed man. the rod, and caught a fish. <laughs> sure, you can feel it. There. What is going on here? Got him. No! Ah! No! Where was he? You had him. He was in the hole. What was he, I don't know what it was. But it's gone. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> that hurts my heart. Oh. You know, a youngin' like you probably nice never fish. even heard of this show, but have you ever heard of the wide world of sports? No, I haven't. Well, I used to say there was the uh, anger of defeat. <laughs> Something like oh. that at the end of it. There's the, some thrill of, the thrill of victory yeah, and the agony there? of defeat. That <laughs> used to be wide world of sports. I'm nearly rolling in agony right now. <laughs> oh, you should be rolling three different oh. times. Oh. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Dang. Dang. I fell right on an ice chunk. Oh. Fishing's getting slow. Really slow. That's My back is sore. <laughs> I think I need to go to a chiropractor. Probably would after that. I need a lander. Big brown? Nice fish, whatever it is. Nice brown. Nice, nice brown. Can't be too little. You still got it on. Oh, it's a beautiful fish. Too is it? Wrong. Yeah. It'd be the biggest one of the day. Yeah. <laughs> Are we gonna get stuck on the ice? I hope not. Big silver. Yeah, it's a beautiful fish. Wow. Yeah, normal, it is a nice one. A normal protocol. How come he got yours right to the hole here right away? He wasn't as big as yours. <laughs> here we go. Uh, clutch time, Dylan. Clutch time. Can you walk him up a little more? No. I need you here, Dylan. Come on, Dylan. I need you here, buddy. Come on, it's oh, that so heavy. <laughs> that is a fish. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that fish. There's that, that moment when they, they're sitting there with their head in the hole, but they won't come up. <laughs> they're just wobbling. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> well, he got a Not beautiful much of a fish, fish handler. He's a, he 
he's an expert handler. They like to embarrass us sometimes, but that's a beautiful fish. Yeah. Very cool. Should we get her back? I think we should. That one we want to catch again. And gone. I'm not cool. shaking your hand with all that. Yeah. I <laughs> So this is the second try on this fish, right? I see you. He's a nice fish. Oh, he's a nice fish. He's a huge fish. But he bit twice. That's, yeah, that's great. That's crazy. My graph shut off. I dropped down, beat, and picked up, and there was weight on it. <laughs> Come on. Nicely done. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, he was pinned good. Beautiful brown. Ah, got a little rattle master going on there, huh? It's the secret bait. Uh-huh. Well, we got the bibs hooked now. Well, it's out of the fish, it's just in my bibs. Here, now look at this. <laughs> That's how you get in there, right? When you don't catch one. <laughs> Let me get a picture of you quick. Come on, dude. She's going to go. She's going to go. Ah, actually, she probably be absolutely fine. It is nice when it's uh, this awesome. warm. Well, Very cool, bro. <laughs> that was kind of funny because we're like, dips. everybody's bummed. He's on. And I'm thinking, well, that's the end of that. Yeah, it was then, crazy too. I, my graph shut off when I pulled it away. The connection must have came loose and I dropped down, picked up and there was dead weight. <laughs> right back on it. Gotta love that attitude. I wish every muskie I ran across felt like that fish. Oh, here he comes. Come on. Oh, no, he goes. Oh, I missed him. Oh, really? Yeah, and now I'm tangled in my ice. No, 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 come on. Oh, he was small. Must be little splake or cohos in here. Yeah, this must be a school of them here right now. Oh, come on, little guy. <laughs> I got him that time. Figure out what these things are. Yeah, I'm tangled my transducer. I see that. A little splaker. Yeah, that could be. <laughs> <laughs> Cute little fella. Just hold him up there. <laughs> Let's see that thing. <laughs> there you go. What do you got to say about that? Well, there's definitely a few of them around because they've been hitting every round. We just can't there, catch them. There, that one's going. Oh. He's already on. <laughs> gone? Huh. What do you think? There's there's something around here. There uh <laughs> there around. seems to be a school of hungry splake around. Uh, because every time we put the rod down they bite it, but they were definitely those ones especially were definitely small. Huh. And just like that. They left. <laughs> ah! That's kind of scary. I was waiting for that fish to hit. My little spawn sack there. Sitting dead still. I've <laughs> tried every move I know. Put the dancing shoes on them. Well, let's get this guy back down. 
So, should I just start right back in? <laughs> What do I think about the young guys catching more fish than me? I think it sucks. I mean, I'll be honest. It's really not right. I think they're taking advantage of me, frankly. Uh, they're a little faster, but actually they caught their fish jigging for the most part anyway. So it'll turn around, it'll turn around. I had the most exciting fish that nobody saw. It's just a rumor. Actually, we could roll video of that still going on. That's a big oh job. I hope there's not a bunch of stuff to snag down here. <laughs> wow. He's still taking line. Jeez. What the heck? Oh, well, this could be. You could turn that off. I <laughs> Get our. You know. Is it? No, it's, it's Pete's line. No. Yeah. Pete, we got your line over here. This is well, it, it doesn't uh, make me think that I'm going to see this fish anytime soon then, if we were just tangled in those lines. So we were tangled in both? We were I've, tangled in both. That's why they both went up I've, simultaneously. I feel like I'm still dragging something. Obviously the fish, but... We're literally getting tangled in lines way far away. I didn't even think that could happen. That is insane. It feels like a very big fish. <laughs> it feels <laughs> so. <laughs> he's he's feeling the fish off my tip up over there. Wow. Well, that's not 70 yards away, but that's quite a ways away. It's farther than I can cast my open water rod. <laughs> <laughs> it's grooved into the ice because he took such a big run. Ooh, he didn't like he that. Him off. Oh, lost a finger. Yeah, but it's it's like a half an inch into the ice. Really? Yeah. That's just weird. You would think it would just come out of it's there. It's out. Oh. See if you can gain some line back, I guess. It feels like it's snagged, is it? Unfortunately, I think I just got to break it off. <laughs> and I think it sucks. Boy, that cigar is strong, I'll tell you. Yeah, it is. There it went. Spoon, he must have just finally got it stuck on something. That is amazing how much line was off. Was that little submarine we had underneath the water that was peeling line off my reel? I don't know. I don't know what was going on. It'll work. I'll catch something. Got another one, Pete. Yeah. I see you running for that. That rod wasn't even bouncing. I thought, oh. oh, I think it might be a brook trout. A coaster brook trout. Look at that. That's a pretty little guy. Yeah. It's a brook Pete, trout. Pretty. That is rare. Get those guys. That's cool. That is a pretty fish. That's uh. Look at that little guy. He's a camera. Pretty. Yeah. <laughs> He's squirmy. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love it. Yeah, that's, yeah, a, that's a coaster brook trout. Huh. Beautiful. Go back. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> Nicely done. I gotta run a little faster. <laughs> Guys are too fast. So that's always something you're looking for. Any shoreline, it doesn't necessarily have to be a distinct point, but if there is an extension out further than, ooh, 
Gosh, I got a, <laughs> sorry, I got a real aggressive fish here. A pie on the graph. On this uh, sand point that we're fishing, which uh, the top of it here, oh, come on. Here he comes back up again. I can't, I can't concentrate and talk structure. <laughs> and I'm trying to catch this fish. Oh, Kyle, he's gonna bite. got this. Quite small. I think the original one was bigger. This is big. <laughs> a lot of fun though. What is this little guy? Stop. <laughs> oh, it's spinning. You want to get a picture of this trophy? <laughs> oh. Cool. That's a whopper. One of my bigger ones. We got a couple fish going here. This is pretty exciting. That's why we fish these sand flats. Well, I couldn't seem to concentrate completely while I had the fish chase. And I finally did catch the fish, by the way. It was quite small, but Back to the structure topic, we got a distinct point here and we got a big sand flat that sticks way out. And what happens in a situation like this, it just becomes a feeding point as these fish are, are moving up and down the shoreline here with the real deep water access out here. So essentially what we got is this extension about 20 feet on the top and we've got deep water all around us out on this side, that side, and then obviously to the main lake. And all you do is, is drill a bunch of holes to try and pattern fish, essentially. You're right up on top. We've uh, got a line of holes right up on top of the spine here. Some out to the edge, some up real tight by shore. And we just spread our, spread our rigs out. We've got the jaw jackers, we've got the tip ups. Drill a bunch of extra holes in case there's a pattern, deeper, shallower, right on top of the spine here. And you're just ready to go. That, that's all you do essentially and try and pattern the fish from there. Same thing with our jigging. We're all moving around trying different baits, different depths, trying to figure out where most of the fish are. Obviously if you find active fish that's where you move more of your sets and concentrate on that. What do you got? I don't know. It was chasing me all over the place. <laughs> another <explain. laughs> I think so. For some reason, he's uh, coming in a little sideways there. <laughs> he did what that muskie did on your Facebook video. I'm getting the whoppers today, yeah. <laughs> what the heck? How did you even manage that fish? Well, another uh, hand-sized fish here. This is fun, though. <laughs> Watch the expert handle. Let me get this back in the hole before somebody gets hurt. Most likely me. Come on, little fella. They are fun to watch them chase around on the ground, though. <laughs> Just all over the place. You working one again? Yeah, he was there, but... Here goes the jawjacker. Fish on! That's the middle one too, isn't it? Yeah. It's a nice fish. I'll save the day. I'll save the day! Ooh, Get in there, nice Dylan. Fish. Can you get any more rod out of here or no? No. Oh, they, ooh, it is. A I got the line. I'm pulling on it. Get him out of there. Get him out of there, guys. <laughs> there we go. Ah, a little minnow action there. What a beauty. That is a nice fish. Let's try to get the hook out here. Well, I'll tell you, you just can't beat him. No. 
He well, hears that like he, noise and he is running. He set up right in the epicenter on purpose. I'm thinking. Yeah. <laughs> I am uh, chucking my rod and running when I hear this thing go off. <laughs> you uh, that is need a little sure. assistance. Yeah, here. thank you. Yeah, that's so nice you I'll dunk him in the water and get him. Look at that. That's a beautiful fish. Yeah. Beauty right yeah, there. It is actually. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry if I messed up your shot, but he's got some snow on him. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have the fish pretty. There you go. Alright, now you ready for the shot, Dylan? Is it good now? You're the cameraman. <laughs> yeah. Alright, what do you guys got to say about that? I say it's great. Yeah. That's what we're looking for, right? Heck yeah. Yeah, it is. Cool. Eh, it's safe to put your fingers in there. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite like a muskie. No. Cool. We'll send her that back. That is. That is very cool. Little baby. Baby, you said. a little head thing. Oh, oh, boy. Get the gap. Get the gap. Get the gap. That's interesting. How many of those fish? There are in here. Yeah, and I'll hold him. Aren't those easy to grab? To that is amazing. That's the most embarrassing fish to try and hold on to right there. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Alright, let's try to get him back here. Oh, there you go. Alright, ready? He's going back. Nice release. <laughs> wow, that was awesome! Great job, man! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's a day. That's a celebration right there. Let's go home. That's the way to end the day. It's yeah. good to end on a fish. That's Youth. true. Yeah, that is true. Youthful exuberance of that fish. So we're supposed to be wrapping up the day today. Mm -hmm. it's, it, been, it's been a long enough day. I feel like it is time for an end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, actually we were out here right at daybreak and uh, tried the first spot which uh, unfortunately didn't work out we thought it was gonna pretty well at first but it was kind of interesting how that uh, panned out actually we were seeing yeah. a few fish uh, hooked the big I, one the I biggest, was marking a bunch of fish yeah. and finally <laughs> yeah hooked the one that got away which actually is one that bothers me to be honest I wonder how big it was yeah, but yeah. Uh, but then that was it it would like dried up nobody was seeing anything so we right. made the move to come out here to the main lake and uh, Overall, I think it was pretty it was normal day, yeah. Lake Superior stuff today, don't you yeah. think? I mean, yeah. yeah. A mixed bag, splake, yeah. brookies, and browns. Yeah. A couple nicer ones, a bunch of smaller ones. Yeah. In but, and out, patterns were chained, mm -hmm. but that's mm -hmm. normally how it goes. You have those dead spells yeah. and a new group of fish comes in. Yeah. And uh, I would say what, one thing that I, I think we all agree on at the end of the day was kind of interesting. All of a sudden we got a pattern with the, with the minnows yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. suspended up high. There was, uh, as far as any of the sets, as far as whether or not they were jaw jackers mm -hmm. or tip ups, we were using both. Mm -hmm. That seemed to be a different pattern there at the Higher end. Higher up in the water column too. Yeah. But yeah, all in all, it was a good day, guys. Yeah. yeah. It was fun. Well, it's always fun. It's always better. That's it. To me, it's just, it, yeah, I mean, it might be an ego deal, but it's a little more fun when you catch a lot of fish. Yeah. And that even, you know, you get the bigger head when you catch a real big fish. I was feeling extremely intelligent this morning when I had that one that was screaming lying all over the place because I had visions of this huge fish I was going to be holding up shortly and then it got away and all of that went away. So. Yeah. Well, till next time. Right. <laughs> oh, we should remind people you got to subscribe and like that whole deal. Yes, yes. Oh, the channel. Yeah, you got to subscribe, like, tell your friends, tell your enemies, everybody who will listen. Uh, yeah, subscribe, Share like, away. and watch for more. We got this, this new guy right behind the camera there. He's going to be doing more. We're going to step it up because he actually knows what he's doing. Exactly. Much more so than I do. He might even be better than you. You never know. I have a good chance of it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll bring you more, and it'll be fun, and we'll catch fish, and you might even learn something. <laughs>